Hello everybody, welcome back. Spider-Man is one of the most popular, beloved, and recognizable superheroes in the whole world. This witty wall crawler has already appeared in many different comics and animated series. Besides, several movie directors have attempted to move Spidey to the big screen. Today, we'd like to talk about the cinematic evolution of this character and discuss all movies and TV series about our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So, make yourself comfortable and enjoy our video. Most Marvel fans believe that Tobey Maguire is the first cinematic Spider-Man. Nonetheless, that's not actually true. Nicholas Hammond had the honor to become the first actor to play our beloved wall crawler. He appeared as Peter Parker in a 1977 American made-for-television superhero film titled Spider-Man. The two-hour pilot movie had been released by CBS before the company started working on an entire TV show about Spidey. In 1978, the series amazed the audience and even brought in over 16 million viewers. However, considering that the cost of adapting comic stories for television was too high, there were only 13 episodes. Also, the show faced various problems. For example, Aunt May was played by a different actress in each episode in which this character appeared. Plus, the fans were disappointed because the plot was far from the comic storylines and there were no recognizable supervillains. In addition, Columbia Pictures released two other movies titled Spider-Man Strikes Back and Spider-Man The Dragon's Challenge, composed of the episodes from the TV series. Overall, both films and the show can't boast an exciting plot or great visual effects. However, if you want to get acquainted with all Spidey's cinematic versions, you should at least watch the pilot movie. After the first attempt to make films about Spider-Man, many other directors were trying to get the right to start the work on a new movie about this popular character. For example, even James Cameron came up with a script about Spidey's adventures. So yes, Leonardo DiCaprio could have appeared on a big screen as Peter Parker instead of playing a young man in love on a notorious cruise ship. Although Cameron didn't get a chance to make his own film about Spidey, director Sam Raimi and screenwriter David Kep used several plot elements from his script when they started the work on a well-known trilogy with Tobey Maguire. The audience liked the new Spider-Man version. Moreover, Maguire amazed everyone not only with his jaw-dropping physical transformation, but also with his inimitable charm. The first movie, released in 2002, pleased us with an exciting story, charismatic villain, and awesome Spidey costume. Due to all these things, the film cracked a $100 million opening weekend and became one of the most successful superhero movies ever made. The second part of Raimi's trilogy also managed to succeed by raising the stakes and showing us many mind-blowing action scenes. This movie is perfect due to better visual effects, an entertaining plot, and, of course, an awesome villain Dr. Octopus, played by Alfred Molina. At the same time, it shows the difficulties a superhero faces while trying to live a normal life and deal with Spider-Man duties. Finally, in 2007, we saw the third movie about the adventures of Toby's Spider-Man. Although the film didn't repeat the success of its predecessors, it still provided us with iconic moments and memes, including Spidey's symbiotic suit and Bully Maguire. And another interesting fact is that Sam Raimi and Sony Pictures planned to release the fourth movie in 2011. However, the work was stopped in January 2010 due to Raimi's withdrawal from the project. When Sony Pictures decided to scrap plans for Raimi's fourth movie, the company immediately started working on the reboot of the series. It was undoubtedly a risky move. Nonetheless, the film was warmly received by the fans and critics due to cutting-edge CGI effects, exciting music, and great actors, including Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. It's impossible not to mention the chemistry between their characters. 
All in all, the movie director Mark Webb managed to create a dark, but at the same time, attractive atmosphere. Unlike the previous version, Garfield's Spidey received web shooters. Plus, the design of his costume was changed too. However, not everyone liked it. Thus, the suit was redesigned in the second film released in 2014. Nice outfit. Thanks. We have a caller on the line named Max. He says he knows Spider-Man. The new part provided us with several villains, tons of funny moments, and Gwen's shocking death. Moreover, Sony Pictures planned to build an entire universe around the famous web slinger. The company was going to continue the story with the films about the Sinister Six and Venom. Unfortunately, the second movie received mixed reviews, and its low box office made Sony delay all planned sequels and spin-offs. The good news is that now, many rumors say we may see The Amazing Spider-Man 3 in the future. After the release of the No Way Home movie, the hashtag MakeTasm3 became extremely popular with Spidey's fans. Furthermore, Andrew Garfield has already confirmed that he's ready to participate in this project. So now, there's a strong chance that Sony and Marvel will please us again and release a movie that will finish Garfield's character's story. And here we come to the latest Spidey cinematic version. All MCU fans were thrilled when Marvel and Sony announced that Spider-Man would become a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the Civil War movie. After the audition, Tom Holland received the chance to become our friendly wall crawler. Sony and Marvel certainly made the right decision because Spidey's cameo in the second trailer for the Civil War movie blew out the internet. A new suit enhanced by Stark's technologies was designed with mechanical eye lenses that allowed Spidey to express his emotions without taking off the mask. Holland's Spider-Man also appeared in the Infinity War and Endgame films. Plus, he received three solo movies that showed us the growth of Tom's character from a funny teenager to a young man who faces serious enemies, complex problems, and tragic losses. Now, we all expect to see a new trilogy with Holland's mature Spider-Man. And what do you think about Spidey and his cinematic versions? Please, don't forget to share your thoughts with us. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more Marvel updates.